Hello everybody, Edri Grandpapa here with a video on a game I spent way too much time on. That game is of course Other Side, a tactical RPG by Lightbulb Crew. So I actually thought about buying this game for about two months before I actually bought it on Steam. Something about spending $40 on this game was not sitting right with me. But in early October I wound up impulse buying it anyways and then I played it for about like 50 hours. I think what really hooked me onto the game is that although it's a tactical RPG and it shares a lot in common with its predecessors and other games, XCOM, maybe even Fire Emblem, it has enough like unique details and uh, stylistic choices that it kind of makes it stand out as its own thing. And these small little features that the developers decided to include add up to something that is distinguishable from others in the genre. Like while still being grounded in it, it's distinctly unique. So when I first began this game, and when I begin any game for that matter, the first thing I do is go right over to the options section and go to the subtitles and turn them on because they're never fucking on. And I spend a couple of seconds navigating the other settings and making sure the graphics are max because yes, and just making sure everything looks the way I want it to. Anyways, I'm doing that and then I hear this in the background and it caught me off guard. So what initially stood out to me is that there were actually lyrics playing in the main menu music. That's kind of new to me. I don't usually get that. I usually get a repeating melody or some sad lady singing, but not actual lyrics. It's a small detail, but an important one, I think, because it sets the mood and ambiance for the game. The somber lyrics and melody convey the imagery of someone at their absolute limit. And, you know, this is reinforced by the fact that we see the main character protected by three ashen-haired bodyguards and surrounded by what seems like nightmare creatures. So as far as first impressions go, it seems like the main character had already lost the battle before I even clicked play. The intro sequence did its job and hooked me onto the game. But what really kept me playing was that art. As I was playing, I kept mentally comparing the art to Bloodborne's art. The similarity between these games probably stems from the fact that they were both inspired by Lovecraftian themes. I absolutely love Bloodborne, so I was definitely happy to see some similarities. Bloodborne was another game I spent an absurd amount of hours on, so no complaints for me. Anyways, where Other Side differs is that Other Side uses a black, white, and red color palette, while Bloodborne is by comparison a little more colorful. I think the decision to limit themselves to these three colors worked in the benefit of Other Side because on top of making it distinguishable, it made sense from a narrative point of view. The game quickly informs you that the events that are occurring take place in the darkness of humanity, so it intuitively makes sense that a setting like this wouldn't be very colorful. In general, red is only ever used to highlight important details or around the daughter characters which the player controls to show their health bar. And speaking of health, another plus, at least in the beginning in the early game, that I thought this game had going for it was its difficulty. The game has a restriction on healing. Essentially, in order to heal the character, you have to sacrifice another one of your daughters, and that daughter has to be an equal to or higher level. This really makes your decisions feel like they matter, because if you play recklessly and a lot of your daughters get injured when you're fighting, you might have to sacrifice one that you put a lot of time and effort into. Moving on to soundtrack, most of it was pretty good, but what really stood out to me were the boss themes. In particular, the fact that some of the boss themes have lyrics, which again, is pretty rare. As you fight the boss, the music intensifies as his health gets lower. Now this might not surprise anyone that's ever played a video game, but it's the fact that this is included in a tactical RPG. Again, if I'm comparing to games like XCOM and Fire Emblem, what you typically get is a cool boss theme that goes on repeat pretty quickly, let's say about a minute, minute and a half into it. So while the soundtracks are cool, they can become monotonous after a while because you've just been listening for it and boss fights typically take a couple of minutes to complete. Other side also loops its soundtracks, but what it does differently is that as the health bar gets lower, it reveals an additional part to the soundtrack. 
this method was actually pretty effective at keeping tensions high as the boss fight progressed because its health bar got lower, and its attacks got more dangerous, and then the music was getting more intense, which really immersed me as I was playing through these fights. A small detail that was also added was a cutscene that plays when the bosses are doing their special attack. Um, they only get access to their special attack once they drop to a low enough HP level, and the special attack usually syncs up with the music pretty nicely, so you really get an oh shit, he's about to destroy me moment when they get low. So far, I've sung praises on this game for everything except the gameplay. The gameplay is pretty alright, it's standard stuff. You click your units, you move into a square, you attack, or you maybe set up a buff, or you set up an ambush. You know, it's stuff you've seen before in this genre. Where uh, other side makes itself a little different is that it has a timeline system. All actions are shown at the bottom on a timeline labeled 0 to 100, and whenever an action reaches 0, it is performed. The game lets you interact with the timeline by using certain abilities, either defensively or offensively, to allow you to delay the enemy's action and their attacks, or to make yours occur sooner than they should have. Ultimately, I want to like the other side a lot, not because it redefines the genre, but because of the small elements it uses to define itself. The art style, the color scheme that the art style utilizes, the fact that the in-game music has lyrics for the boss fight, some of the stylistic choices, I mentioned the zoom in effect on the boss when it does it special, and even the timeline system, which is a pretty unique take on the turn based aspect of these types of games. All these things mesh pretty well, the game pulls it off pretty well, and the coherence I think is what gives other side its greatest appeal. The game's obviously not perfect, and of course has some weaknesses, I think one of the big ones that I mentioned is the grindy aspect of it. When you die you have to restart from level 1, scene 1, so it makes it very tedious having to redo the first couple of worlds if you died later on in the game. That being said, I still generally enjoyed the game enough to, you know, make a video on it. And I couldn't help but be impressed because I did some research on the crew that worked on this and it was a very small group. So for them to pull this off is actually pretty impressive. Anyways, that's it for the video. Here's an outro.